Coach Farouk, thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it. Uh, how are you feeling, sir? Very well. Just a little bit cold, but very well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's really cold, yes. Yeah. Uh, Coach, uh, you've witnessed all these games. We're on the fourth game now. Uh, what are your thoughts in terms of the quality, the standard that is at show here? Well, I must say I'm pleasantly surprised by the standard. And I think it's as a consequence of players that unfortunately for some reason hasn't made it either to the uh, Glad Africa or to the Premiership. Players like Lucas Sebastian, uh, these are t top players that unfortunately fell through the surf. But they've come here to give themselves another opportunity to showcase their talent and hopefully, you know, make it into uh, either the Glad Africa Championship or even be scouted by some of the Premiership coaches. Uh, coach. Uh, what technical trends uh, have you picked up here? Maybe technical trends that uh, uh, teams are adapting to or teams are trying to implement? Well, I think a lot of teams are playing with a 4-3-3 formation, whether that be because of the uh, top teams in the world like Man City, Barcelona, etc. Playing that formation or is it because of the fact that they're looking to play with one pivot and play with two offensive uh, midfielders in the form of a 8 and a 10? But it seems to have created some good uh, quality football going forward. Defensively as well, we've seen some very good uh, performances thus far. That is the reason why we haven't seen so many goals. But I think overall, it all comes back to tournament football, where you've got to ensure within those 90 minutes that you score that important goal or you win all three points. And I think in the first few games, we haven't seen that many goals. Uh, I think with the exception of the one goal where I think it was Magezi scored three goals. But generally, it's been very tightly contested. And we've seen now, we've just done the Cizwe and uh, the Quena game. And that was decided by two goals by a well-organized, well-structured Sizwe team. They got Seppo Mutsaneng, a former goalkeeper, who's taken over this team just for this tournament. And you can see, you know, there's, there's no fluke that he's won this tournament in the past uh, with other teams. And he's, he's, he's got a team that's well-structured, well-organized. And they look like, for me, uh, with the likes of La Masia, MM Platinum, uh, they look like, you know, two teams that can go all the way. Coach? Uh, before I let you go, I, I have to get your comment with regards to what Coach Hugo Bruce said about the standard of our PSL, the quality of our players. Uh, you, have you heard those uh, comments and what is your response? Well, I think in fairness, uh, you know, if you compare us to the likes of players playing in Europe, uh, we, we are not that there. And it's obvious. I mean, you know, European football, South American football is obviously a little bit more advanced than us. If you look at where we are on the... Uh, on the rankings in the world, we're not there yet. But I think, in fairness, we should take the message and look at what we can get out of it and not take it personally and say that he's criticizing us. He's making a very valid point saying that we need to have more of our players playing in Europe. And I, I do agree with that. I think it would be good for our football if we get players to play in the top leagues in Europe and bring back that experience and that uh, ability to play at the highest level against the best players in the world to enrich our national team. Coach, thank you very much for your time. I uh, hope you enjoyed the rest of the tournament. Thank you.